YouTube channel out of spec has been doing a challenge or a 10% challenge where they drain the car down to 10% and they put it on a charger, fast charger for 15 minutes and then drive at 80 miles an hour until it gets back down to 10%, kind of how long you can travel, kind of mimicking like a, a road trip kind of thing, kind of thing. So the results so far, Model Y 98, Porsche Taycan 140, Toyota was the worst so far, 42, Volkswagen ID 460, and the Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive, 106. And he must not have noted these, but this is how much energy was delivered from the charger in 15 minutes. And then the charging speed, so you can see why the Taycan was so high on its range, just because it dumped a lot more energy. And these are the YouTube channel or YouTube experiences of those. I'll link all these or the stock in the description so you can take a look. So my got my mind spinning. How would Aptera do on this challenge? It's kind of difficult because they haven't shared any real world numbers. So the best I could do, uh, they've said 100 watt hours per mile. So you can set this as it's hard to know if that's actually at 65 miles an hour, but let's just kind of assume that. And I have the battery destination arrival 10% as ideal, speed maximum 80. So I know this is a long stretch of road that does have 80 for a good portion of it, probably until you get to probably around here. It's probably 80 most of this route. So this route, let's go to this. So I just kind of play with some settings to try to get it down to close to 10%. So the best I could do is get it down to 11. So really this whole trip traveling 573 miles, eight hours, you charge only 30 minutes, which is actually very impressive. This is, I have this set as the 400 mile range option for Aptera. So you drive 210 miles, you get down, looks like it tops off here. And then the closest I can get to 10% is 11. So then it gives some buffer, but it was charging for 15. So it gave 19 kilowatts of energy. So kind of comparing that to these, you know, definitely lower. But as you know, this can travel further on less energy. It charged from 11% to 65%. And then it says that you could travel 168 miles after that, which definitely puts it in the first place out of all these. But what I find really interesting is that it's considered like a slow DC charge. Those are really easy to find. There's lots of charge points that are like 50 and under, but a lot of these, stations other than outside of Tesla's charging network, sometimes it's hard to get fast speeds. And to get speeds like we're talking about here for Aptera, that's easy. 40 to 60 kilowatts charging is very, very doable. The charger shouldn't, you know, give you any issues there. I'm not sure what the ramp down rate is for that. They haven't really shared that either. If it's constant or if it kind of tapers down more towards the end or if it stays pretty high until it gets down to like, or if it gets up to like 80 and then it starts to taper down, which is pretty normal. So going for this long road trip, you know, very, very doable. So Aptera shared that the charging rate would be either 40, 50, or possibly 60. Let's kind of say the worst case is 40 kilowatts. So you would get a hundred miles in 15 minutes. If it's 55 kilowatts, you get 125 miles in 15 minutes. If it's 60 kilowatts, you get 150 miles in 15 minutes. Then they, let's say perhaps in the future with the 1000 range model, they could charge at 100 kilowatts, which is 250 miles in 15 minutes, which would just totally blow everything out of the water here as far as stats. 
I have been a little disappointed there hasn't been any real world driving data shared with us from the Gamma in, in regards to constant highway speed. I know it has an extra small battery pack in these prototypes, I think 10 or 20 kilowatts from what I recall, correct me in the comments. So I understand it's not possible to replicate this kind of test, but Aptera could do a test with the battery they have and drain it down to five or 10% and then trailer at home and kind of collect stats from that, you know, constant highway speeds. So let me know your thoughts on this. And if you know how the stats are kind of calculated for this better rep planner site, let me know. And if I need to change any settings in here, um, yeah, catch you next time.